Sam Whiting. Brilliant. Thank you for that, Izan. And keep working hard on that assignment. I'm sure you'll do great. Uh, we have May C from Malaysia who says... Hi Sam, I'm listening to Super K-pop right now with my dog lying down next to me. Her name is Coco and she uh, always looks so relaxed whenever she listens to your show. Uh, maybe she likes the sound of your voice just as much as I do. Anyways, I hope you're having a lovely day. Lots of love from me to Lunafly and the Super K-pop team. Whiting! Uh, yes, thank you for that, matey. And hello to um, Coco as well. Uh, okay, last message. We have El Tan from Singapore who says... Since you grew up listening to the Beatles, what's your favourite song from them? I just recently tuned into your programme, so I'm sorry if the question has been asked before. Uh, Noel, I've never been asked that, and it's actually a very good question, I think. Um, obviously, the Beatles have so many songs to choose from, um, but I guess the ones which I listen to the most um, would be Let It Be is obviously a legendary song and a song that... Um, I listened to a lot as a kid, um, but I would have to say my all-time favourite Beatles song would be Yesterday. Um, and obviously there are lots of remakes of that song, and it's a song that um, I've sung myself uh, now and again. Um, I think it's just a great song with uh, brilliant lyrics as well. So, uh, yes, highly recommended uh, Yesterday by the Beatles. Okay, time for some more music, I think. Uh, I'm going to play for you Henmi uh, with Paraji and Nin Girl, Girl Who Doesn't Want Anything.
Right, guys, we're going to take a very short break, but do not go away because in part two, we have K-pop rising with Peter Pan Complex, a talented indie band in Korea. If you have any questions for them, leave them for us on the message board. In the meantime, I'm going to play a song requested by Ece Ertuk from Istanbul, Turkey. This is Taeon with Manyage. What if? Please leave us lots and lots of comments and we'll definitely check them out. For an easier way to do that, go to the Adidang Radio website and click on Super K-Pop. Also, feel free to send us your comments, questions or song requests on the Adidang Radio website. I'm sure you know it by now. It's www.adidangradio.com. Okay, in case you missed it in the first half of the show, I'm actually going to give you the quiz question one more time. So, here it is. Primary, Infinite H, Simon D, Dynamic Duo. These are some of the biggest names in Korean hip-hop today, and they've all come out in support of the artist who is the answer to our quiz today. This singer sang on Primary's See Through and produced Infinite H's Niga Opsutte, Without You. His voice reminds us of Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder, but also has a unique and unforgettable flavour. He recently released his debut album. We talked more about his uh, uh, music very briefly last Thursday with Jimbo on Beat and Bounce. 
Yes. Can you guess this artist's name? Is it A, Zion A, B, Zion B, or C, Zion T? Now, I'll only accept answers written on the message board, so uh, log on to the Andy Dang website, andydangradio.com, and leave your answers. And I'll be sure to announce the winners on the message board, so please check that out. And I'll be sending out autograph CDs of Zion T and Rania, so be sure to leave your answers on our message board. Okay, I've actually got two uh, messages here from uh, one is from Dri Shuen from Malaysia who says, Shout out and hello, Sam. Hi, Sam. I'm always looking forward to Super K pop every day. I'm currently sick and it turns out that I've got a throat infection. Sigh. I'm currently laying in my bed. I hope you can give me a shout out so I can feel better. Thanks, Sam. Love you and keep it up, Dri Shuen. Uh, Dri Shuen, get better soon. Um, I'm giving you a shout out out now so yes um, sleep it off if you get some sleep I'm sure you'll get better thank you for that message we also have Arabella from Saudi Arabia who says hey how are you quick question do you do horse riding um, I'm assuming Arabella is asking me this because I grew up in England um, horse riding I have been horse riding a few times as a kid uh, but it's not something that I've done too often but I do remember it's being a lot of fun lots and lots of fun but it's a bit of an expensive hobby, I'm afraid. So, uh, yes, I hope that answers your question, Arabella. Okay, let's play some music, shall we? This is Chubisu with Nodal Hangan Maun, Cause of You. Teru 